This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to look at some of your mail. I have to share this with you though, because I don't know if this has ever happened to you. So I get a lot of mail sent to me and every now and then something comes like miraculously from another side of the planet. In this case, it's from Holland and like it's open. Yet, however, miraculously, everything's intact. So we'll start with the miracle book that came to us from Holland, and this is from Gino Ricardo, who writes, Dear Ted, a bit late, but I wish you and your loved ones a happy new year from Holland. I hope that you've received this book in good condition. Shockingly, yes. This book is a collection of my first year, 2019, in photography. Most of the images that you will find in the book are taken during my one-hour lunch break, hence the name Lunch Break Sessions. I hope that you like it. With kind regards, Gino Ricardo. Gino, this is a fabulous little book. Excellent work. I I will link up to Gino's information website like I do with everybody in these videos. They'll be below this video in the description. Next up is this little book called For Your Eyes Only. This comes to us from Iva, who has beautiful handwriting. But uh, Iva writes, Hi Ted, I am always worried about how I spend my time. And I often find myself complaining that I don't have much of it to do the things that I really want to do. Photography is one of those things. Mostly I blame my day job and that's why I change it so often. Every time it's the same old story. It's draining, it's unexpiring, it's crap. And then I worry that it steals my time and leaves me with no time to do photography. With some help, I am now starting to realize that it's not the job that steals all of that, but the worrying. This is my first zine and the only way for me right now to share my photos with the world. The photos are often taken mostly during lockdown and some of them during October of 2019 after quitting one of my jobs. Thank you, Iva. So two things come to mind. First of all, Iva, this is a beautiful book. Your photographs are wonderful. Second, Second of all, this note concerns me a little bit. I understand that worrying is a cause, but you have to realize that life has seasons in it, and we all have kind of been through something like this from time to time. There was a point where I also had a day job, and I got very frustrated with the same things. And yeah, you don't have a lot of time. In fact, I remember I didn't have a lot of money either, and so I actually had two jobs and had to work a lot. And it is exasperating when you're not creating something. You're not doing the things you love. Positivity, and I know you addressed this in this letter, is absolutely essential to those times. You've got to get through them, and that's the only way of doing it. But I'm also here to tell you that if you follow your dreams and you work hard at it and you take risks and you take leaps of faith, things have the way of working out. And so I'm certainly glad I'm not in that position anymore, but life is sort of full of seasons and you never know where you're going to be next. And so, yeah, happiness is the key. But anyway, beautiful photographs. Love the book. This is really cool. Okay, this comes to us from a gentleman named Darren Rose who writes, Hey Ted, long time watcher of your channel and thought I'd send you a copy of my first zine, Arden American Echoes. I hope you enjoy. Keep up the excellent work on the channel, Darren. Darren, excellent work. First of all, I love your photographs, but second of all, I know it's your first zine, but I'm impressed because I love the pacing and the layout and the way that your eye is sort of drawn through this book. And that's something that's a very mature trait to have. You should be very proud, love it. I mentioned before, but I'm gonna put links to people's websites below in the show description so you can check out more of their work. And if their zines are available, you can probably find a copy. And speaking of websites, it's probably time that we give a shout out to our sponsor today, who are the always awesome folks over at Squarespace. I am actually redesigning my personal website right now and I'm going to be using Squarespace. So I've been sharing a lot of images with you guys in these videos. This is something that I want to share more of, be able to put links and things to when I have collections made. Squarespace is an awesome place to do that. It really is the easiest way to build a website. You can build an online portfolio. You can even build an e-commerce store on here. The tools have really gotten good. How easy is Squarespace to use? Well, you're going to start with one of their award-winning templates. Now, all of these templates are customizable. You're 
content is separate from the template, so you can change the entire look. If you feel like you need a complete refresh or you're not sure on something, you can get things to look exactly like you want them. What good is a website if nobody's looking at it? Will Squarespace have the right social tools and email integrations in here so you can do your own website promotion as well? My favorite part of Squarespace, well, it's really intuitive. So if you can drag and drop a folder of images, you can build a photo gallery. It's that easy. You can easily go into the settings to customize everything to your liking, hook it up to your own domain. In fact, they sell those too, and you are in business. So head over to Squarespace using the link below this video, and you can try it out for absolutely free. And when you do decide that Squarespace is right for you, I can save you an additional 10% on your first order by using offer code AOP. So once again, offer code AOP, and I want to give a special shout out and thanks to the awesome folks at Squarespace for sponsoring this video. So next up is this scene, and uh, he also sent a print in here of the cover, but this is from Bob St. Cyr. It's called Follow the Light, and Bob writes, Dear Ted, thank you for your endeavors in photography, especially film-based imaging. I hope you will accept this as a modest addition to the Ted Forbes International Library of Photography. It includes a small collection of portfolios that I've made in my local area over the last two years. I find photography and working in the darkroom very therapeutic and believe that it is a very important component to mental health. I've been practicing analog photography for many years and have had enjoyed the opportunity to teach photography in a formal university setting to undergraduate students. To combine my experience and dedication to both photography and teaching was one of the most satisfying experiences thus far are hope for further opportunities in the future. Suffice it to say, analog photography is simply ingrained into my being and continue to follow the light. Thank you for your time, Bob. Bob, thank you for the book and the print. And it's interesting, a couple things you mentioned. First of all, this is the International Library of Photography because I keep everything that you guys send. I'm working on getting a bookcase for what is going to be the lounge back there. That is on the way, and that's where things are going to live. The other thing is that I completely agree, and that's one thing that I miss from doing analog photography is the darkroom. I remember, I, you know, I live in Texas, and I it gets really hot here in the summer, and you don't want to go outside. It's miserable. And I remember just staying up real late at night and just going to the darkroom, AC on, just zone out, and it was completely therapeutic. So I get where you're coming from. Anyway, awesome book. Thank you for sharing. Moving on, this is Seaside Estate which comes to us from Ricky Bolton. And Ricky writes, Hi Ted, love the show. Every time I watch an episode, I feel a little bit smarter having gained an education in photography. Thank you. I started photography at the start of 2020, and I want to send you a copy of my first photo book that I self-published on Blurb at the end of last year. I sold a limited amount on Instagram, nonprofit, and it was such an enjoyable experience. It will definitely be something I continue to pursue as I progress as a photographer. The book is based around British seaside towns. As you're American, I thought you might appreciate something different. Thanks again for all your hard work in producing content so people like me can gain the knowledge in our newfound passion that is photography. Kind regards, Ricky. Ricky, thank you for the book. And considering you just started in photography, this is really nice. So excellent work. A couple things I want to add to this is, first of all, I love doing these mail videos. And I think one of the reasons that I love it so much is I'm a fan of books and I love to see you guys and what you're working on. I want to see your ideas and, and your concepts and what your photos look like in print form. And so whether it's a zine or a book, I think this is something that's really powerful. Um, one thing I want to mention, and I've talked about this a little bit, is that over the last two years, I've had an incredible opportunity to work alongside Ralph Gibson on a couple projects. And Ralph is, is a hero of mine. I consider him a mentor. He is just amazing. He's actually working on a new book right now. And I guess the week before last, I was in Philadelphia, flew up there and went out to this printer in Exton called Brilliant Graphics. And Brilliant is a cutting edge printer. They do some amazing work out there. And I went out there so Ralph and I could do a video together. Now we've done a lot of work together, but we haven't done a video together like that would go in this channel just yet. This is that video. So I'm working on editing that now. Now. And we'll have some more discussions about this whole idea of the photo book and the process as we go, because it's just, it's an art form unto itself. And it's interesting because uh, Bob Tursak, who owns the printer, uh, brilliant, uh, up in Exton, is a avid photo book collector and knows everything about these things. So we have some more to contribute to this that I want those two to come onto the show and share with us a little bit. So I'm still editing that video right now, but it'll be out in the next week or two. I'll remind you as it comes up. So if you have any questions, leave them below. I really enjoyed looking at everybody's work this week. Until the next video, I'll catch you then. Later.